Hey, welcome to this video. Uh, today, I just wanted to share with you why I really like Swagger UI. So if you've not heard of Swagger UI, I'll share the Swagger uh, link in the description. But uh, basically, uh, Swagger UI allows anyone, be it your development team or your end consumer, to visualize and interact with the API resources without having any of the implementation logic in place. So, from I'm a front-end developer. I'm currently working on a project where we have this Swagger UI, and I'm working with some back-end developers. The back-end is developed in Django using Python, and I'm on the front-end, and I'm calling these APIs, and I'm using React and React Query uh, to call the APIs. So this means I'm making a lot of API calls. And for that, I need to understand what needs to be in the request uh, and what uh, are the responses that I'm getting back. And because if you see here on, on what I'm sharing with you, you can see there's a lot of uh, endpoints I can hear. And to have all this documented manually would be a lot of work. Um, and then you continually need to update it. It would just uh, be a lot of maintenance overhead. But what uh, Swagger UI does is it generates this uh, for you and it allows you to, for example, if I come to this one where uh, it's a get request, for some certain data, it allows me to open it up and then I can see straight away, I can see here all the parameters that can be included in the request. And then it also allows me, to, it gives me an example of the response body and it also allows me to try it out. So if I uh, come up here and I go try it out, it allows me here to press execute and then it does a call for me. Uh, and you can see here, this is the response I get back. Uh, it also allows for, if you have a post request or a put request, it, it tells you example value of what should be in the request body. So without having to speak to any backend developer, ask a lot of questions, without having to go to another tool like Postman, it allows me very easily to know uh, what should be in uh, the request body. So here I can see the values that should be there. I can look at the schema and it tells me which values are required, which are not, and what, what's the type they should be. Uh, and then uh, it tells me an example of the response I should uh, be expecting. And then I can, again, I can, I can try that out. So this is a great way for a front-end developer to get to understand uh, the, the, the APIs, for all the APIs to be documented it for it to be kept up to date without having to do a lot of maintenance. Um, and I just want to, to share this with you. If you haven't used Swagger UI, uh, I can really recommend it, especially if you're working in a team and you're working on a slightly bigger project where you have separate teams creating the, the, the back end and then a separate team creating the front end. It really helps increase the efficiency of the development cycle. So thanks for watching. If you're using Swagger UI, I'd love to hear how you're using it in your tools. I'd also love to, to hear your experiences with it. So thanks a lot.